is designed <coughs> to produce a perfect world, a good world, without God. Because in the beginning they have rejected God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Thou shalt not steal. This is, in the background, a depiction of a person that we know to be Robin Hood. And they say, well, he stole from the rich. And he gave it to the poor. And we made, made and, and he was a hero, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing about Robin Hood, the truth of Robin Hood was, it wasn't the poor uh, or, or, or the rich that he was taken from, it was the government. Yeah. The sheriff of Nottingham mm -hmm. and all the, 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 the royalties, the princes and the nobility and all of these people, these were the wealthy, right? Mm -hmm. all right? Why? Because the wealthy controlled all everything. But the thing about socialism also is that they established a system where the wealthy rule everybody else. Look at our political systems. And, and, and I know we can get into arguments over Democrat and Republican and all these different things. But I submit to you that I, I pray that you are more Christian than, than you are either of those. Because it is a Christ in us that drives us, that, that, that we are guided by, not by an, a, a political affiliation. And if you are a devotee to either one, I trust and pray that just as in Deuteronomy 28, that you are in the process or you are in the status of being the head and not the tail to make sure that whatever party you're part of, that you are driving the issue. You're in control. You are representing God, the kingdom of God. And if, as long as we represent God, everything will work out just fine. But if you are submissive and allow them to drive you, if you are the tail, if you are not from above, and if you are from beneath or below, and they are, the issues are driving you, you're headed for trouble. Because you shall be held accountable. I can be held accountable if I cease not, if I do not, a man stand for the kingdom of God. You know what Matthew 6 and 33 says. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh, whether you are a D or an R, if we allow, amen, amen, the righteousness of God to rule, instead of these people who are thinking they are doing well in the upper echelon of the political classes. You know, by the way, when it comes to that, they don't care. Neither one of them, Democrat or Republican, they don't care about you. All they want, as you have seen, is to stay in power. And that's a struggle right now. It's about power. Who's going to make the rules? Who's going to control the money? Amen? That's what it's all about. And as long as we allow them to rule and don't speak up, see, the church is going to sleep, by the way. The church has become the tail instead of being the head. They have become the servant to the political class instead of the ones that when they, when they come, remember how they march into some of these churches and get up there and speak and Talk about all that they're going to do for you. And how, if, you got, if you're depending on this system to give you something, whatever they give, they can take. They can change. They can raise it or they can lower it. I'm encouraging you to trust in God. Our God shall supply what? All of our needs. According to his riches and glory. But thou shalt not steal. Let me say this and then I'll move on. Even if I hired somebody to go and rob the bank for me, it's still steal. Yes, yeah. in, in our law, there's, there's something that's called receiving stolen goods. <laughs> I don't care how much the system legalizes. It's still wrong. 
Because it's not according to, as I say, man can make up his own laws, his own rules. Yes. But God is the one true provider and maker of morals, morality, and law. Amen? Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the way of sin, or sitting in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in it does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Trust in God, y'all, because this system is destined to fail. Okay? Trust in God. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Against thy neighbor. The political system is filled with lies and truth. Half lies. Quarter lies. Amen. One third lies. Partial lies. Whatever you were going to do. If it's not the full truth, we always say, I want to, I want, you go to court, do you swear? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. The devil told a half truth. And got Eve believing in it. And look where we are today. The truth of the matter is, there is a split. And y'all seen this before? Between biblical true Christianity and false Christianity, which is the direct road to socialism. When you look at Acts chapter 4, 35, after the church and the people had formed the church and they went and sold all they had and brought it and laid it at the apostles' feet. And that ministry, it wasn't for the apostles, by the way. Preachers, it wasn't for you. <laughs> apostles, it wasn't for you. If those people are bringing money and laying it at your feet, you ought to, by right, pick it up and put it in the church treasury. Oh, I know I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> But I've been in trouble before. <laughs> and say, and man, every man was given according as he had need. Yep. That's the scripture. Yep. Acts 4 35 B. But it mixes, it, it, it Karl Marx, when he put this, and it from, from each man according to his ability to each man according to his need, that was a spiritual flip flop. Mm. And now the church depends upon the system to provide benevolence when the people in Acts 4.35, they gave it out of love and move, being moved by the Holy Spirit to go and provide, amen, a treasury that people who were in need would be provided for. And they didn't look to Caesar. They didn't look to nobody but God Almighty. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store so that God prosper, so that us give. For the Lord loves a what? Cheerful giver. Now if I demand that y'all give so much money a month or a day or Sunday, and y'all come here, some good days and y'all have some bad days. Amen. But I don't want you ever leaving out of here with your mouth stuck out. <laughs> Reverend Dawson that took my money. I was planning on uh, going to Houston. I was planning on going to the Super Bowl. Y'all hear what I'm saying? As I get ready to wind this presentation down, God bless you. Amen. The big and bad one. Thou shalt not bear false witnesses against thy neighbor. It's the most important thing for us as followers of Christ always do and that is to seek and uphold the truth. Uh, 1 John 2 and 21 when John was writing to the church he was saying I have not written up unto you because you know not the truth. I wrote to you because you know it. Church you know the truth. The truth is in Jesus who said I am the way the truth and the life. No man can come to the Father Except what? By me. By me. One of the things that we have fallen for is partial truth, the lies. Now, uh, we, we will support a lie for the person that we favor. <laughs> but we want the whole truth on somebody we hate uh, or don't like. But that should not be of the church. Yeah. 
Let the truth fall where it may. Amen. 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 And you see, we can't be uh, uh, in Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. It tells us, amen, by the mercies of God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. No, he said, no, that, that, that's uh, Romans 12. I beseech you, therefore, brother, no, by the mercies of God. Amen. But what he's saying is a stain. Help me out with that. Stand therefore. There we go. Right, you got it? No, I'm, I'm talking about uh, Galatians 5. No. I'm getting two scriptures. Galatians 5. Galatians 5. Five. Stand, therefore, Stand therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ, Christ has made us free. Stand therefore hmm. where in the liberty mm -hmm. that Christ has made you what? Made free. Us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. bondage. The yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. So if you've been set free, stay free. Amen. <laughs> don't, let, don't let this system, this world entangle you to the point that you can no longer function as a child of God. Don't let it entangle you to the point where you cannot even reflect the Christ. Let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus. You can't speak lies and truth and talk about you're a Christian. You can't speak lies and truth and say that you're, or you, you're following Jesus. Sometimes truth is going to get you in trouble. Truth is going to have folk rolling their eyes at you. Right? Huh. Finally, coveting. <laughs> now shall not covet, not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor shall thou. Now shall not covet the neighbor's house, his wife, the, his man's servant, and maid servant, nor his ox, his, nor his ass, or, uh, that means donkey, by the way, uh, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Don't get upset. Socialism, one of the uh, drawing parts of socialism, is, is based upon. Envy, jealousy, and revenge. You put me in power, I'm going to give you what they got. They got too much. You put me in power, I'm going to level the outcome. You support me, I'm going to put a chicken in your pot and everybody else. That's what socialism does. Let me conclude with this. I mentioned Hugo Chavez, what he did to Venezuela. It started off with health care. Then it rolled to nationalization of all of the businesses and the companies. Government took over everything. It's ironic that Hugo Chavez died it's been about 12 years now since he died. When he found out that he had cancer, he left Venezuela and went to Cuba for medical care. Today in Venezuela, if you pay attention on the news, you see people out in the streets. They're fighting. They're killing. They're beating. They are in a total chaotic upheaval. Why? Because man is not God. Socialism has failed every time it has been tried. <clears throat> Let me conclude. Remember uh, two babies, one Charlie, named Charlie Gard. They were in England. And the other one was, the most recent was Alfie Evans. They had what they thought could work incurable diseases. And hospitals all around the world, especially the United States, wanted them to come that they can get treatment. But because Britain, England is a socialistic nation, they would not let them come. 
with Al, with, 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 with little Alfie Evans, they posted military around the hospital so that the parents could not get their baby out, put him on a plane that I give the Pope credit, had an airplane, a jet, on the runway waiting for that baby to be brought to the plane to get him some medical treatment. But they posted military around the hospital to make sure that the baby would not be brought out. Why is that? Because this system is not a system of freedom. It's a system of bondage. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty whereby Christ has made, not said, made you free. And be not entangled again, amen, in the bondage of this world. Socialism is in uh, opposition to the Ten Commandments and even to death. Because Jesus broke the Ten Commandments down into two. If you love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. And if you love your neighbor as you love yourself. He said, you have fulfilled all of the commandments. Amen? Amen. Love is a good medicine. Amen. Love, amen, it provides not just for yourself, it seeketh not her own. Right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Amen. It provides for everybody. If we of the church would stand on God's word instead of believing and following the promises of men, our lives would be a whole lot better. So would this nation be a whole lot better. Our churches would be a whole lot stronger. Our streets would be a whole lot safer. Everything would be so much better if we continue, if we would get back to God and not man. God bless you. And continue to keep this our prayer. And uh, don't let socialism, amen, replace God's word. Either the Ten Commandments of what Jesus said, the two great commandments, they're all the same. Amen? Amen. God bless you. And thank you for your patience. Amen. Can I get a copy of those slides? You sure can. <laughs>